So, with ABC now having three TV shows centered in the Marvel Universe, obviously with Agent Carter, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and now soon coming Damage Control, there also has apparently been in talks that there will be a fourth and final ABC TV sh Marvel TV show that they will be doing. They will be creating, but they haven't uh, specified as to what. Now, they have kind of... There is kind of a rumor that it won't be a spy show. It, pro it won't be a spy TV show like it was first thought of. It'll be more of a superhero-based TV show. And I'm kind of thinking that would be a cool angle to go. And I was kind of thinking to myself, well, if I had a, if I had a chance, you know, what TV show would I like to see in the Marvel Universe that doesn't deal with spy stuff? Because we already got two spy shows. I don't think we need another superhero spy show. Not to say anything's, there's wrong with Agent Carter and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm just saying we're getting the Secret Warriors this season, and, you know, we've already got Agent Carter doing all, all the cool stuff in, you know, the late 40s, early 50s, the spy stuff in the early 40s and 50s. So I don't think we need another spy TV show. What would be cool, now that we have damage control in here doing, you know, hopefully having superheroes in there, because like I said in the previous vid, um, you can, you know, they had superheroes under their, you know, uh, on their in their staff, almost said under their control, but yeah, they were un, you know in their staff. So you know they did have uh, they did have guys working for them. So I was kind of thinking to myself, well, how about we get an a how about an actual TV show? How about an actual superhero TV show? I mean, and I kind of thought, you know, what would I, you know what would be a cool you know low key kind of superhero show? What would be a cool uh, a cool one to do? And, you know, you don't need S.H.I.E.L.D. or anything else like that. And I was kind of just thinking to myself, yeah, how about a Runaways TV show? Yeah, I just thought to myself, I just thought to myself, how about they do a Runaway, how about they do Runaways? And when you think about it, it could work. I mean, the Runaways has a huge cult following. It's, all, it's pretty much mainstream now because the Runaways are going, you know, a majority of the Runaways look like they're going to be part of the, Mar you know, a bigger part of the Marvel now universe. It does look like it's going to be that way. So I just so I think it would be a cool idea now that Marvel looks like they want to push um, characters like, you know, Sister Grimm, Ch you know, Chase Stein, Gertrude Yonkers, Old Lance, Carolina Dean, you know, and all those other characters. Yeah, how about we have the, you know, how about we have them show up, you know? I think this would be a cool angle to really play uh, play with. I think this could be a cool, you know, get a younger audience in, because, you know, a lot of, you know, I think it would be a good angle to play with, because you, you obviously have a lot of, TV, you know, stations that don't normally try to cater to young young adults have this. I mean, obviously, look at Scream, Queen, uh, Scream Queens. It is try looks like it does trying to cater to, like, the MTV audience. And you've got several others. Obviously, CW dominates in that. MTV dominates in that, so I think it would be a smart idea for ABC, which is known for an AB, uh, for a family network, to, to kind of try to try that route, but on a super powered level, not go the route, you know, go down the route of like M, you know, MTV or C, or something like that, more like CW, where you can do kind of fun superhero-y stuff, and they've tried that before, but those shows kind of got canceled. So hopefully, under Marvel, you know, Marvel's guidance, ABC can you know crank out something good. So what would I do with a superhero TV show? Obvi uh, honestly, I would just go with each season as a story arc from the comics. Like, the first story arc deals with them dealing with the Pride, uh, their parents, because, yeah, for those who don't know the, com uh, the story of the Runaways, the Runaways is a group of, of, of children whose families are all supervillains. Some of them are time travelers, some of them are, you know, geneticists, some of them are super, are super genius gangsters, others are aliens... Others are like wizards. They're all different villains from walks of life. And they all are joined by these race of giant beings who are these giant godlike beings who's I think they're called the Gribamorium. I don't know, I I always mispronounce it. And they're more or less put together, and their children find out about this and run away and eventually try to stop them as well as learn about their new powers. So I think that's a cool angle to play with, is kind of like, okay, the first season deals with them battling their own parents, and then you can bring in other characters like, well, I don't think you could do... There are some characters you can't do, like Xavian, uh, who is a Skrull who was Carolina Dean's lover. I don't think you can do that, because obviously he's a, he, she's a Skrull. He, did, he was a Skrull who could uh, change his gender and all that, and he liked being a female. But... 
Yeah, I don't think... Unfortunately, you can't get Xavian, so unfortunately, yeah, he's the only one out. But you could get, you know... Uh, um, you could get Ultron's son. You can get Ultron's son. Yeah, he had a son. Uh, you know, you can still have... Um, you can still have Molly Hayes. I know she's a mutant, but you can just make her an... You, they can just change her to be an inhuman. I mean, they're already trying to, you know, uh, push for more inhumans, so I guess you can make Molly Hayes an inhuman. Uh, yeah. I see, you know, you can have, um, you know, Carolina Dean's race be a major element. I mean, you, I'd really like to see more alien races in here. I think that could be a cool way to go. Uh... I think that would be a cool element to go rather you know rather than have Kree's you know Kree's you know the Kree's don't have their arch enemies the scrolls in this universe so what they could do is just have them at war with Carolina Dean's race which again it's a very hard to pronounce name but if you've read the comic then yeah you know what it is so yeah you can even bring in like Cl uh, uh, Clara Plast the uh, girl who can can talk to plants there are so many characters you can use in here. You could, you, they had Cloak and Dagger in here. Actually, no, I don't think you could use Cloak and Dagger, unfortunately. Or maybe you could. No, I don't think you, they can. I don't, sadly, I don't think they can. Now that I think about it. But yeah, there's just so many ways you can do this show. It's like a fun su young superhero route to go with. And I think it would be cool to do something not from like a oh the world's gonna get blown up if we don't do it. yeah and that and truth be told that kind of storytelling does happen in Runaways a few times but it's not like a major element in here it's not like a gigantic major element in this series it's more about these group of kids scared out of their minds that most of them have powers that they don't know how to use and they're scared of their own parents that have made this basically deal with the devil to destroy the earth. So they're the only line of defense to do that. But other times, it's mostly like, yeah, we don't know our place in the world, and we're just gonna, you know, explore as it is. And I think that would be cool to expand this Marvel universe of having that. You could honestly do like a, you could honestly do like a Scooby Doo, like a more serious tone Scooby. Like actually, no, the better term would be Buffy. You can do like a super powered version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Not to say Buffy did have its superpowers. It did. So yeah, you can do a Marvel version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer with these characters, and ha and give that kind of, uh, you can do that kind of fun superhero romp story. I mean, hell, there, you know, it was a mostly female dominated group when, you know, spoiler, Alex betrayed the group. It was just down to Chase for a while, and then Ultron's son came, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. But yeah, you had Ultron's son come in. My personal favorites were Sister, you know, uh, of the cast were honestly Sister Grimm, you know, Nico, and Carolina Dean and Molly. You know, as long as I get those three characters, I'm totally fine. If we could honestly get those uh, characters in this ser in a TV series like this, again, I would honestly love a live action Runaways TV show. Cause goddamn, I want my Runaways. I want my Runaways con uh, like something. Please, come on, Marvel, throw me a fucking bone here. <laughs> um. But yeah, if I could honestly say what would be the next Marvel TV show, yeah, I would go for, you know, I would go for this. I would honestly go for a Runaways TV show. You can, like I said, you can do fun superhero stuff. You can do cool, you know, teenage exploration. Because this really dealt with, you know, Brian K. Vaughn was a bloody genius when he came to this comic book. Because he knew, yeah, I'm not just writing a comic book about super-powered super kids. I'm writing super-powered kids who are afraid of themselves. Yeah, and they just want to be normal. So yeah, why not? <laughs> I say go. F I say totally go for it. But yeah, so you guys tell me, what would it, um, would you like to see? You know, uh, would you like? What would you do with a Runaways TV show? If you if you could create your own Runaways TV show, how would you do it? And also, what Marvel TV show? What Marvel character or characters should get their? You know, be the next ABC TV show. Really interested to know what you guys think. Just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.